guys happy saturday i'm so excited for another weekend vlog it's going to be a beautiful weekend it's a little chilly but it is sunny right now which puts me in such a good mood i am in a better headspace i've taken a few weeks to relax get my life together so you can see my desk mostly is clean the yarn is semi-organized these are good signs for Lindsay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have a few updates for you guys and then a few things that I need to get done this weekend. I have a few orders on Etsy I need to crochet and fill, so lots to do. First update, which is so exciting, I am so proud and happy and excited, is that I made it to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you're new here, that was my goal and I did reach it and I was doing a, a 1K subscriber giveaway, so I will share details on that soon. I'm not that caught up where I'm ready to do the giveaway, but it will be probably in the next couple of weeks. And what else? Oh, yesterday I turned off my Etsy ads, which I don't think I talked about on here, but I did turn on Etsy ads, um, which I have used in the past for my other, like when I was selling cups. And honestly, I mean, I've been getting quite a few Etsy orders, so I am very busy. I do work a full-time job. I do travel for work. I have a dog that I, you know exercise after work. I want to, you know, exercise myself more. Um, so the Etsy, like my end goal at the beginning of all this was to run my Etsy and my YouTube full time. I have no idea. Like the only thing that was holding me back from that before was if I could like financially. Now I just don't know in terms of like my actual nine to five job, like what I'm doing. So the Etsy can take a pause. I am happy because I've got quite a few listings up. I've got quite a few orders and I've also got some reviews and that was really my goal was to get some reviews for the plushies because I only had reviews for my cups. So now that I'm there, I feel like it can take a pause or just be a little bit slower and not so overwhelming during the week. So like I think last week I had four or five orders like in a week and that's a lot to crochet like after work every day. So I tur I paused the Etsy ads and we'll see kind of how traffic flows and how orders go with them off. My other thought was that I may increase my pricing a little bit because I am cheaper than most other people who are selling the crochet plushies on Etsy. And that was in an attempt to get orders to get reviews. So once I see how my shop acts with the ads off, I may consider upping my prices just a little bit. So those are my thoughts. I'm really trying to focus on YouTube right now and especially Instagram. I really neglected Instagram. Um, I'm always growing on there but it's pretty slow and I don't post nearly enough or nearly as much as like I want to or my goal is. So that's my focus. This weekend I have three Etsy orders to fill. So I have a mallard that is almost done and then I have two mooses and and then I have a call with my mom at 9 to do taxes. She's helping me because I bought a house this year and I, I don't know what I'm doing with it. So on um, taxes and stuff. So she's helping me. Then I thought possibly I would like go to a little uh, local cafe and do some crocheting there and just have some coffee. I thought that would be fun. I... Uh, when I was in college, I loved going to like cafes to study. I was like, like some people just preferred to do it at home. Like no, I was the cafe or the library person all the time. So that is my vibe. It puts me in a good mood. And then I definitely need to do a yarn run. So we are going to Joanne's and probably Michael's as well. Or maybe Michael's and then probably Joanne's. I don't know. I think I need to go to Michael's because I've been interested in doing the... In making blankets and I started just like as a practice one with some leftover loops and threads yarn that I had and I really liked it it's just so soft and I don't like doing the plushies with the loops and threads because you're doing so many little pieces and stuff and there's so much shedding and I like sewing the pieces in it's really if you use it you know what I'm talking about and then when I uh, do the lighter on it it's hard to get that through the needle when the end is like hard yeah it's a whole thing so Michael's has loops and threads. There's some other types of yarn that I also want to try out. But yeah, I am excited. I just had breakfast and what time is it? It's 7.45. So we're either, my boyfriend is at the grocery store. We're either going to walk my dog when he gets back 
to kind of get that done or I'm going to get started on some of my Etsy orders right now before my call with my mom at nine. But either way, I think I'm gonna get started and try to finish the duck and then when he gets back, we'll decide what we're doing. Okay, bye. Guys, I, wait, let me put my AirPods down because we all know I'm gonna lose them. Woo. okay. I just went to this local cafe for the first time and it was so nice inside, so I'll definitely be going back. But I packed my mallard that I was working on this morning and I finished the, let me get it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I finished the first leg at home and then I brought my orange yarn and I was like, I'll do the second leg at the cafe. It'll be so quick and perfect. And then I'll go to, you know, shopping for yarn. I didn't realize I have to do two more rows of the cream color. Um, and I mean, if you've made the Mama Made Minis, you know that like you do two rows decreasing right here and you start with one leg and then the other leg you have to reattach the color so i forgot and i just brought the orange be like thinking of the leg but i forgot that i had to do the two rows so i couldn't start i considered considered starting and just like having the legs be a little wonky but it is for an order and i thought it would definitely be noticeable so I didn't crochet at all, but I, instead I spent the time looking at like some inspo photos of stuff that I want to do in the future. Part of the reason I want to turn off my Etsy, I mean, not turn off my Etsy, but take a break if like, if it allows, if I turn off my ads and I don't get any orders, I'd be okay with it because I won't be paying for ads, but I also don't need the orders right now. And I can work on some inspirational stuff. So... I think I mentioned that I started my first blanket and I definitely want to get more into blankets. I love the like mindlessness that comes with just doing row after row. I think people that switch from amigurumi to like traditional crochet like in rows, uh, we are a bit fatigued from doing so many different pieces and sewing on different pieces and um, the little tiny sections that you're working in and when you switch to blankets it's just a nice big open field of just the same stitch or the same few stitches and it's just it's easy to work with so I will definitely still be doing amigurumi but I also want to do some blankets hats you know all of that so I was looking at some inspo photos and I have a few ideas in mind of blankets that I want to do but we will see if I can find the right yarn I think the hardest thing for me when I get to like the yarn store is just like feeling overwhelmed of like with ideas and then also like Maybe they don't have the yarn that I wanted and I just, this one feels different but I like this one and like I just can't decide so it just never really ends well. So I try to do a little bit of research and look at patterns and like what kind of yarn they're using um, so that I can go in with like an idea of what I should get but who knows. So we're going to go to a Michael's and this Michael's is a little bit further away so I don't usually go to it but I did go to it one time on my way home from somewhere and they had really good selection. Um, so I'm going to go back and hopefully they still have a good selection and then we're also going to go to a Joanne. Um, I think I'm going to go to the Joanne first and that is going to be where we go right now. Just looking to restock the colors of what I usually carry for my amigurumi and then look at some fun new yarn for blankets and stuff.
my goodness guys okay i just finished at michael's and i already went to joanne's and i got so much yarn um i think i'm gonna return some of it but i wanted to like just have what i need to get started on a few projects and then like decide how i feel about some of the types of yarn um so for example i got a bunch of these like semi fuzzy uh is it do you say i've never said this brand name out loud but Caron by Yarn Inspirations. Uh, they're called Latte Cakes and they're like fuzzy and they have really beautiful like like warm tones. Um, so I want to, I'll try one and then like decide how I feel about it for blankets and then I have a bunch of others that I will either return or keep or whatever. So I also got this color and we'll do a little haul when I get home. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I am done and we are about to go home and then I'm probably just gonna crochet for the rest of the day. I need to work on my Etsy orders, but I also want to try out some of the new yarns I got, so it's gonna be fun. Hey guys i'm back it's like 1 1 30 i just had a little lunch and then i wanted to show you guys all the yarn that i got i got a lot <laughs> um and then i'm probably just gonna start crocheting i'm a bit nervous because i don't know what to start on but let me just show you guys three three big bags okay let's start so first I got Bernat Velvet, which I've never used, but I got three skeins of it. It's a little bit expensive um, when it's not on sale. I think this was supposed to be like $12.99, but I got it on sale like $5 off or something. It's very soft. It's a little bit thinner than the usual Bernat that I use. And I don't know if it sheds or not. So I got three skeins. My plan, and I got them all in this color, the quiet pink. My plan is to start with one skein and probably just do a completely pink blanket. Um, just practicing maybe a stitch that I'm not super used to or you know, a stitch that seems more fun to give it a cool texture. Um, but if I don't like the way it's turning out, then I'm gonna return the other two skeins. So that's kind of what I did in this yarn run was like try to get new types of yarn to kind of test out how they look and work. And I got multiple skeins, but I might return some of them. So there's that. And if anybody knows, I would love to know if you start crocheting with like, like a velvety yarn or something and you frog it and don't like it, can you return the skein? Like maybe you have the label with you or like, the, but the label's not on it. Do they like weigh it to make sure it's the right grams? I don't know. I don't really... I'm sure it's like not as big of a deal as I'm making it, but I've never returned like a skein, but I noticed that they do clearance ones that don't have labels or whatever. And I just thought maybe I could even get like a little bit of store credit. I don't know, but there's that. And then this is super fun. This was on sale. I think it was like usually $6.99 and it was $2 and it's 
such pretty colors. Um, I got two of those. That's all they had of this. So my plan with that one is, let's see. I thought maybe mixing it with like, this one is like white stripes, or uh, not white stripes, white sparkles. And I thought it kind of looks cute together. And I also got like an off-white color that I thought maybe I could mix these three for a blanket. Um, but again, I don't really know. I really have only worked with like this kind of like size and material of yarn when I do like eye embroidery. So you girl does not know. I got a bag of polyfill because I always need that. And then I got some uh, Bernat Pipsqueak. What I really wanted to do, like my vision for the dream blanket I wanted to make was like in a material like this, like Bernat Pipsqueak, but it's like white or like a cream with like brown check and it's like checkered. Um, but they don't have a brown Bernat Pipsqueak and they only had gray there. So I looked online, but like they literally don't have a brown one, like they don't sell it. Um, so I think that Premier does in their little bunny and I think I in the future will do an order from Premier and get that one but for now I just kind of want to see how I like this style of yarn and I got the gray but I may end up just returning it. I, I really don't want to use gray. I just don't like don't like cool tones. I'll be real uh, but we'll see. So I got two of those each and then I got this. So this is similar to like wool ease, but I have been doing a little bit of research on like wool and how ethical it is in the yarn community. And there's just a lot of mixed answers. I mean, a lot of people say if you get it from like an ethical source, obviously, but like that lion brand who makes the wool ease, um, you know, they don't disclose like how they treat their animals or anything so like I don't know so I am definitely the type of person I won't support businesses or I do my best to not support businesses that don't match like my morals and ethics this is similar to wool ease I have used wool ease in the past before I kind of started to do my research on wool in the yarn community um but it is polyester recycled polyester so it's very similar in like texture and weight and everything but it's not wool so this one i got two skeins of and i would just want to do like a neutral blanket for like my living room and we'll see how i like that i got this pink i don't think it's a match that's so annoying i got this pink to try to finish a bear that i did and i haven't been able to find the same pink No, it's not. So this is a bear that I started on when I was market prepping. And of course I had such limited time market prepping and I worked on this for hours and then couldn't even finish, which was so annoying. Um, but I haven't been able to find the same pink as it. I always go to Michael's and they always have this one and they have another one that's not it. I need to bring this with me next time or I was at Joanne bring this with me next time, but I keep forgetting. I also forgot to bring yarn that I needed to return at Joanne, so it's just very annoying. Um, but I guess I'm gonna be adding this to the return pile because it's not the same color. I mean, I could definitely use it for something. We'll see if I wanna use it or if I wanna return it, but that was why I got that, so. All right, now, 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 that was Joanne's, Michael's. Michael's was 30% off all yarn, which was amazing. Um, I really like these and I really hope that they are, are as cute as I'm imagining. So I got the, I think I showed you guys these in the car. Um, they're just, they're really soft, like when I feel it like this and the colors are beautiful. I just hope that it looks as pretty in a blanket because it is like the repetitive colors. So I just don't want it to look weird in a blanket, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing blankets with these. We will see. So I got two of that color. And then I got, 
And I know it's probably, it's not enough to do a blanket with two of them, but I didn't want to go and buy like a, a ton of skeins of something. I like don't even know if I like it. So I just went with a few different colors and we'll return what we don't want or whatever. I got this one as well. It's a bit more like brown, like warm brown tones, which is super cute. And I got two of those. Then I got just a, a natural, like it's the same fabric, like material, um, but it's just all one tone and it's like cream, which I think that's gonna be really cute. It can be an accent if I don't wanna do the others completely the whole blanket like of the other colors and then I got this one which is a little brighter um it's like a pink or red it kind of looks like it's bright pink or reddish in person and then the mid-tone is like a light brown so we'll see how those come out and then I got this and it feels pretty soft but it's definitely not like as soft as some of the ones I was feeling. And what I really want from the blankets is for them to be soft. Um, so we'll see, but I like the color. So I think you guys can tell like the, the color scheme I'm going with. I like a lot of warm tones and neutrals. So unfortunately for boy stuff, I mean, traditionally greens and blues, it's not a warm tone and I just don't love, it's not that I don't like looking at it, but like, it's not my style. So like, I do everything like in my aesthetic. So if someone asked me to make a blue, like a blue or green blanket, I totally would. But I just feel like it like wouldn't go on my Instagram or it wouldn't be like part of my brand, you know? I don't know, we'll see. I wanna like make it, make my page, you know, look good for everyone, but I, I just really like the warm tones, you know? Do you feel me? I only got one of these, but I thought it might be cute for like like a border, or I don't know. And then I got this. So this would also probably be used for a border if I did one, I don't know, in a certain, like maybe, I, I think like these two would go really well together if I just did the whole blanket in this and then I did the border in this or, you know, we shall see. But those are the options I got. So I have a lot of options, guys. What? What do we think I should start with? I, here, I'm going to, I'm gonna find my phone. Okay, I have decided I'm gonna start with the, with the cakes. And I'm just gonna start doing a blanket and half double crochet like I practiced the other day, just to see how it looks with the half double, half double crochet stitch, with the size of hook that I'm using, and just how the colors come out with this, with this design, and then I may frog it and decide to do something else, but I'm just gonna start, okay? Okay, it is size 5 and size 6.5 hook. I'm also excited because this is probably raveled a bit better than the Bernat. So, like, I could actually use this in a yarn bowl, you know? What? 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 Yeah. There's yumbos. Okay. Welky. Maybe it's this. Whew. Okay. Here we go, six and a half. I just bought a new six and a half because I didn't know that Susan Bates has these little ones with the grippy on them and I like these the best. They have the tapered, the tapered end. I don't know if, can you, can you tell? Um, other crochet hooks are very dull and I like this for getting into tight spots or spots you can't really see or whatever. Wow, this is so much thinner than I thought. Oh my gosh, guys, this is wild. Okay, here we go.
Uh, okay guys, I didn't, okay, so I just finished this like pinkish brownish color. I'm not sure honestly what color it is, but it's really cute. And I didn't realize, but there is a lighter orange in here, um, in this spool, which is really cute. It's right here. And I don't know, can you see it? It's at the top here. So that's what color I'm getting into now, and I think it's super cute. The blanket is pretty soft, so I think this will be cute. And I think uh, one that's just completely white, too, would be really pretty, like, with the fuzzes, like, and just being totally white. So I'm glad I got that cream one. I want to try that, too. I also thought that maybe this one I would do, like, a white border on. We'll see. We'll see about a border. I don't know. Um, cause it will be, it will feel like a little bit plain, I guess, or unfinished if it's just, like, there's no real texture to it throughout. It's all the same texture, and then there's also no border. I feel like you kind of have to have one or the other, or both, but we will see. I am liking it so far. And I have a, time, a stopwatch going to see how long it's taking me. Um, I wasn't good about starting it though, so I started it after, I think, three rounds of yellow, or rows of yellow or something, so let's see what it's at. It's at 40. I can't believe I've already been doing this for 40 minutes. It feels like I've just started. Okay, guys, I'm here with an update. Look, it's so cute. I really, really like the colors. I think it just, I don't know, it just looks like sunshine on a summer day um but okay so here's the consensus i might consider using a tighter hook in the future i mean i know it will make it a little bit stiffer which is the only reason i'm a bit reluctant um but i don't love that you just like see all the holes i don't know so but i do think it's really cute and it is soft and I don't mind the colors switching like halfway through the rows. Let's see if I can find one. Um, it doesn't look like right here. It then the purplish ends like right there, but it like when you look at it, um, like I pointed out there, it's obvious. But it, when you look at the blanket overall, you're just gonna see colored stripes, and I don't think it's really gonna be that noticeable or matter that much. But we'll see. So I've been working on this. My timer says an hour and 15 minutes. Um, it's been a little bit longer than that because like I said, I didn't start right away. I'm getting into like a little bit of a brighter yellow here and the tones are a little bit different. Like this is almost this, but this is a little bit lighter. Um, so, and then this is definitely brighter. So it's super cute. And I think, I think, I think I'm gonna take a break from this and try a different one. Um, I'm just like in the mood to like test things out and like work with different yarns and see what I like and don't like. So here's how much I have left. And I think two will be enough. I think, I think. So I'm just gonna move that one. And then, oh, I don't know guys, I really like this one. I think it will be so cute and fun. But I really need to figure out like what I'm doing with this one before I do it, you know? I'm almost considering maybe this one and doing like a granny stitch. I think that would be really cute. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna test this one out. I really need to like keep my labels organized because I have no idea what any of these colorways are or anything. This one is Cabana. Cabana, baby. Oh, it's so cute. This would be a really gorgeous sweater, too. Ooh, I really like this. It's so soft. Okay, friends, let's find a grainy stitch blanket pattern that we like. Um, and, ooh, okay, so this is kind of what I was envisioning in my head, and I didn't realize it, um, for the this one being like that little speckled can you see i don't know if you can tell this speckled striping here could maybe be that one and then i have two different tones of white 
Maybe I would need a pink too for that. So maybe we're gonna wait on this, but it's just so cute. I think whatever I do with it, it's gonna be gorgeous. Or maybe we would do, yeah, we would do like a, like a, light, like a peachy, like a light peachy pastel orange type of color. All right, we're gonna do this and I'm wondering if I should do it in this one. It's gonna be different colors, but the stitching on this is so pretty, I wonder. Oh, it's crochet flower. Ooh, that might be, that might take a long time. I do like things that move quickly, you know? I'm not at the stage where I can spend hours doing blankets because I'm just trying things. Okay, the granny spike stitch is so cute. But I don't think that's the right one for this. Um, okay, so this is Daisy Farm Crochet Sedge Stitch. That is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see like the, the texture, but I want something really textured for this, you know? Okay, update. I started with this and it's not doing a lot for me. Um, I haven't got to any of the areas where like there's a lot of pink yet. I'm kind of in like a brown area and white. Uh, so in terms of color, it's not doing a lot for me. And then I started over here with the size six as the label recommends. I moved to a six and a half like here and then I tried a seven and then I tried an eight. And I think this is the texture that I am liking the most. I definitely myself prefer blankets that don't have like huge holes in them when I'm laying with them. Um, but I think that these ones are so tight that it's, it's really stiff. Like it doesn't feel, I mean, it's once it's a big piece of fabric all together, it's going to definitely flex and move. But I feel like this one just already looks like, look how different it moves for the, these larger loops than it does like over here. It's just, she's stiff. Um, and I think it will take me less time using the larger hook. I just said to it guys okay I just went ahead and did it um this actually took me forever and I don't know it's a lot harder on my hands and wrists like to work with small yarn guys um but this is the one that I was complaining about it just wasn't doing a lot for me it's it's still okay I mean it's not as impressive as this I don't know like when I was doing this I didn't realize how much I liked working with the yarn and how much I liked the colors I think because like this is a bit more muted and it's I don't know I guess it's because it's not so fuzzy so you see more of the holes and it's just I don't know so here is a bigger pink section kind of like right in here you can see it's like not that bright but it does have some variation in it and I only, I'm on my third row, so I'm like halfway through right here. Um, and I think I'm just going to keep going. I'm doing a herringbone stitch, which will do, be like some ribbing on it. Uh, but so far it's not that noticeable, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this is just kind of a little test. I think like this blanket would look really cute with like, um... Maybe some of the, I don't know what the stitches are called when you, when it's bubbly on both sides. Because in amigurumi, we mostly use the bobble stitch, which is just, you push it out so it bubbles out on one side. But I think when you do like blankets and stuff, you can make one that's a bubble on both sides. Um, so I don't know what that one is, but I think it would look cute with like some, some bubbles, like whatever that looks like. And maybe like a... Uh, roughly border and like I think the border that I would do is probably like brown and that could look really cute but I can't get over how long this is taking and how much it how hard it is on my hands so I don't know how you guys do this 
I definitely like the mindlessness that comes with it. Like amigurumi, you always have to be looking at the pattern. You're always cutting and sewing and decreasing and increasing. And like this is nice to just do while you watch something, I think. Um, but the yarn is just so small. I can't get I can't get over it. And yeah, I could use a Bernat blanket and make blankets with it, but I like the detail and the texture that thicker yarns have. So I don't know. I, I'm not like too convinced on this type of yarn for blankets. Oop. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. So where we left off yesterday, I was working on this blanket or I was working on the other blanket, I think. Um, so, and then last night we had a movie night and after a movie night, I stayed up and worked on this blanket again, a few more rounds. And then I've also worked on this a little bit this morning. And then I did my taxes with my mom this morning. So a bit of a late start because of that, but this is how much I have done. And it's really cool to see how the uh, stripe patterning is coming out because like I wasn't sure you know how it would be or look and it looks like yeah for the most part you just really can't tell if the color changes are like in the middle of a round so it's really not a big deal at all and the colors are really really pretty there's like this darker yellow or like brighter yellow that I didn't really realize um, was in this blanket because I didn't start with it so I didn't realize till I got up here and that was a fun little surprise and yeah it's just turning out really nice and flexible and soft and it's pretty mindless so I really enjoy it compared to making amigurumi it's not like I prefer it but it's like a, a bit refreshing because it's a new way to crochet for me to not have to look at a pattern or anything like that so yeah just something new and I feel like I'm probably not halfway yet um, I haven't measured it so I don't really know how long this is but I think I'm probably not halfway um, this is how much I have left of the first skein and then I have another skein so I feel good about having enough with those two skeins which is nice um, but yeah that's that I think I'm going to take a little break, if not just be done for the day, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling like the day is already flying by and I definitely want to take some time to just relax and just do other things other than crochet and I want to clean. And then I also need to do my Etsy orders, so I'm going to try to table this and I might just do the Mallard because that one does need to ship tomorrow and then I might do the other ones later this week. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I'm definitely going to take a break for now. Okay guys, last check-in of the day and of the video, I think. Um, I worked on this. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like the warm tones, like the pink with the brown, and I really like the pattern of the stitch. I think it looks so detailed. So yeah, here it is up close. So cute. I'm excited about that, but whew, I am definitely realizing how long it takes to do blankets. And like, I don't mind it at all, but I'm a little bit worried about my hands and my wrists. Like, I will definitely take breaks and stuff, but I don't know. It seems a little bit harder on my hands and wrists. Not good long term, but anyways, that's it for this vlog. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!